I was trying to remember when I met Jamin. I think our relationship started on the phone about 15 years ago. I've known Jamin, I think it was the late 90s. So I'm going to go with a little over 20 years, somewhere right in that range. Probably uh, 15 years, and it's been a great relationship throughout the entire tenure. You know, I have not known Jamin, well, for very long, really. Shockingly, I've only known Jamin for two years. And I say shockingly because after we met, I felt like I've known him a lifetime. Well, I met Jamin in 1999 when he worked for Equity Residential. I have known Jamin for 16 years. Um, the better half of two and a half decades we've been buds. I have known Jamin for over 15 years and they have been an amazing 15 year ride. I've worked with him for a little bit over three years now and in that short period of time I've got to learn a lot about Jamin and thankfully he doesn't have a bad side. Jamin is a renaissance man. I admire his tenacity. He's a go-getter, he's very innovative. He, he makes things happen while caring about and making a difference for other people. He's always the leader of the pack when we're cheering a glass of Cabernet. My favorite characteristic is the fact that he is respectfully candid. I think it's his fast and witty sense of humor. It is ridiculous. He is, has one of the fastest brains I know of. So he's not only smart, but that wit of his, I just absolutely adore. He's always saying something goofy, which makes me laugh. His ability to laugh and to have fun with everything he does and to make everyone around him feel as though they're participating and engaging and adding value to every scenario. Really the leadership qualities that Jamin brought to the table, to our entire industry. To get to work underneath of him and see those leadership skills on a daily basis, have him as my mentor and my boss is very, very special. To uh, put all this together, I'm sure it's taken a tremendous amount of effort on his part and, uh, and lots of time. So I definitely would say leadership is one of his strong qualities. I was so impressed when Jamin took on the duty to help multifamily friends by creating the Atlanta multifamily huddle. When COVID first happened, we were all on a group text and calling each other and emailing each other and having conversations about what was going on. And Jamin did a great thing by just connecting all of his connections. The purpose of the call was to navigate through this pandemic. We just, we didn't know, there was no book that told us what, how to handle this. I didn't hear about it until the second weekend. And one of our regional managers said, hey, Walt, you ought to jump in on uh, these weekly calls with Jamin. I want to say maybe 30 people were on the first call, which was pretty good for our first call. To hear other people's thoughts and to know that you're not alone out there dealing with these, these uncertainties, I think was reassuring. It was known around the nation as the call to be on. But before we knew it, we had over 200 people on this call. And let me tell you, it was invaluable information. The impact that that call had on our industry was pretty significant. You know, in the midst of this global pandemic, I feel like Jamin really took hold and took the reins and took it upon himself to be a leader in our space and not only organize the call and all of the data that was flowing in from multiple different sources, but to make sure that the whole industry was apprised and informed of all of these rapidly changing scenarios um, to, to keep us all on the forefront of how to be safe and connected through the pandemic. You know, all of a sudden there was no longer competition because Jamin brought us together as brothers and sisters in the industry. He, he built a family um, where there were just fragmented pieces and parts of scared people. Although the call may have been local, I think the reach um, was far beyond that. To me, it was very therapeutic just being able to interact with our friends in the business uh, that we haven't had an opportunity to see for uh, so many weeks. We were all able to get together and have conversations and say, yeah, we're going through that too. And yeah, we're feeling that too. And it just made such a huge positive impact during such a very a stressful time for our industry that we're still living through. And he's still holding the call. Jamin was the one that really put this together and put and gave us a platform to be able to do that. And he did it so eloquently. And I was, I've just been so impressed. He just worked magic and created, I referred to policies and procedures earlier. He created 
policies, procedures, opportunities for a complete mind meld of the best and the brightest in multifamily. Hey, I, Jamie. Hey, Jamie. I love you. I'll see you back in Atlanta. Great job and keep up all the good things you're doing. You're fantastic. I'm very proud to know Jamin as a longtime friend and industry partner. He's very deserving of this recognition. So thank you to Patrick and Carrie for recognizing Jamin as his a leader in our industry. Thank you for everything that you've done for the industry, for all of us, for the residents and our associates. I love you. You're a very dear and sweet, sweet friend of mine that I would walk over broken glass or fire for. And I love you dearly. Mwah. Thank you, Jamin. I love you, man. I can't wait to make more memories with you. I'm so thankful for you. And we're very, very lucky to have you as our leader. And we can't wait to see what else you do in this industry. Thank you and congratulations.